Finally, it's not too far to go now. Champions League football is finally returning to St. James's Park. It's not even about is it finally returning because no one thought that would happen in the first place, especially in my time. I'm absolutely gassed. I saw the drones and all the certain celebrations they had. I think it was today or yesterday, I'm not sure. But everyone's buzzing for this one, man. I'm getting goosebumps, almost emotional. The last time I seen my team in the Champions League, it was against, we, in our group, we had Feyenoord, Bayer Leverkusen, and Juventus, Sir Bobby Dave. I remember it like it was yesterday, even though it was 20, 21 years ago. I remember the first three games, lost all of them. I was getting all the bants, all the trolls. It wasn't even called trolls back then. I thought, yep, yeah, it's a wrap. But you know what? We tried. And prior to that, you've got to remember, Sir Bobby Robson came in when we were sitting low, low in the league. A bit like Eddie Howe, bottom of the league, came in, I think that first season we finished 13th. That was the season when we batted Sheffield, Sheffield Wednesday at home. I think Annie Sherrill got fired in that game. Remember it like it was yesterday. And a bit like Eddie, the next season, Qualify for the Champions League. So I remember it like it was yesterday. Like, and prior to that, the last time we did the Champions League before that was in 98. After Kevin Keegan, Kenny Dalglish, we all remember, we all speak about it, 3 2 at home, Castino Aspria, hat trick. I remember that like it was yesterday too. One of my early days supporting Newcastle United, my beloved Newcastle United. Then Sir Bobby had a try, lost the first three games. Won the next three games. Craig Bellamy and the boys. That was a good team, man. Jermaine Genius, all them guys. Solano and the rest. Jay Given, the rest. After that, it's been mad turmoil. Never in a million years in my lifetime expect to see Newcastle United back in the Champions League. The takeover got, when the takeover happened, I was like, yeah, in time, in about five, six years. Competitive league. Things always improving. But already we're here, and we're here by merit. I don't want to hear about Liverpool and Chelsea and Spurs. They fought with blah, blah, blah. No, we're here on our merit. We did it ourselves. If it wasn't for controversial VARs and all this nonsense, we could have finished third. But we finished fourth, Champions League spot. Good, good point away against Milan. First time back in the Champions League. It was all new again to us, to everybody, even the management. All of us. It was new again. Now PSG, Kylian Mbappe and the boys are coming to St. James Park on Wednesday. That's going to be a big one. I had certain rival supporters. don't know if they're bantering or what. Even though PSG ain't doing so, looking so good on the field in their league, which is not the greatest league. Some people are still saying Mbappe and the boys will come. They'll get the three points. If I'm being honest, my main concerns are the injuries right now. Wilson's, with, uh, even Isaac, he had a little nickel before the game against Burnley. Joe Linton, Joe Linton is the big blow for me. That machine, that monster of an injury in the field. He looked like he was just getting back to his best. He's possibly out. Botman, Joe Willock's still out. He even started. I don't know what's happened to Joe Willock. There's a lot of injuries. Putting a lot of game time into Golden. Yeah, he's young. And you know why he's on form? He's so good. Guy is going to miss the next Premier League game. I'm going to concentrate on now. I'm going to be very interested in who starts and up, up top as well. That's going to be interesting. He'll probably go with Gordon, Isaac, and Amaron again. The midfield has to keep, long stuff has to be there. But it'll probably be pretty much the same. I'm not having no updates on Botman yet. If you know, tell me. But possibly could have self start that game. Could the captain start? It could pretty much be roughly the same team you saw against Burnley. Maybe one, maybe one or two changes. I highly doubt it. We see what Eddie says. So yeah, love to hear your thoughts, man. How you feeling about the game? Injuries or no injuries? But at home, do you think it's possible we can get a three points? If you get a draw, will you be disappointed? But for me, yes, there's big names, big echelons of names in this group. But come on. Not a big name too. It's a, it's, a group, it's a group of death for a reason. 
and I believe we have every chance, like everyone else, getting out of this group. But for now, we deal with PSG. Big game in our history. You would have thought a year ago in Bappi we would come and competing against us in the highest elite of club football. Julie Dread, appreciate the subs, likes and support. Some of your thoughts, please.